Are you? Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, why are you up there? How did you get up there? Are you balancing the beam? Are you crazy? How are you, Adrian? How was vacation? Wonderful. All right, chop chop, let's do this, let's do this. It's only coffee. It's only 32 degrees outside. Oh, How are you like that? Go get me some coffee, please. Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. Hey, come over here. <laughs> now you're scared? Yeah. Oh, wow. We come on. this forever. Jump. Oh, good girl. So Sar S Cyber Monday started very slow yesterday, but it picked up throughout the day. So we got almost 50 packages going out. All these bins, a couple big ones here. So uh, it turned out to be pretty decent, uh, pretty decent Monday for us. So, so picked up a couple, couple very cool things from a guy just a minute ago. I did not film because he didn't want to be on film. This is very nice vintage stained glass. Look how nice it looks through the window. So I gave him 40 bucks for that. And we already, I think Adrian priced it at $120. And then I traded him for this, uh, for this Colt revolver with initials of our one of our famous generals who who knows what the gsp stands for huh general george Patton, and this is dunbury mint beautiful piece heavy too original cereals on the bottom just like it was back in the day you can see everything is beautifully engraved on this gun and I just found out I actually didn't notice that on this side on the grips when you see these two marks they stand for two kills I had no idea very cool piece I traded this actually for a banjo a banjo that we had here probably hanging for about half a year, if not longer, that we are asking uh, 150 bucks on it. So I really don't know how much this can bring. I see the prices all over. There's lots of them from Franklin Mint, Dunbury Mint, and some other mints with no names on them. And they range anywhere from uh, like $200 all the way on a Guns America gun broker I saw it that it sold for $4.99 as well so kind of interesting piece we might put it out here for a while I don't even know if I want to go on eBay with this because of the whole issue of putting the orange cap and stuff like that so very cool piece though very nice Vicky you thinking hard about it <laughs> <laughs> so we just got something pulled eBay pulled the item off by saying that it's appropriate to be listed. What is it? Victoria is listing appropriate things. <laughs> <laughs> it's a statue of figurine. Yeah. Statue? Is, that, right is that general again? Oh. Is the general? It's a Nazi general. Oh, it's a Nazi okay. Guy. Okay, so we must include word Nazi and that's why No, I, I don't think I did. No? I don't think so. All right, let's it's see what it is. I don't know where it is, I'm guessing. You know, you know, you know, you know what sucks, guys? eBay will remove the listing, and then you can't look at that listing anymore. Yeah, and can. You can? can you Go to it? Google. Oh, well, on Google. Oh, you Google. have the title, then you can... Yeah. 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 But, like, at eBay site, if they remove it, yeah, you can't look at it anymore. It's gone. Yeah. So, you can't even find <laughs> it where you put it, you know? I mean, that's the problem. Now Google. we don't know... Google. Google. We got a Google. <laughs> We don't even know where it is now. No, it's, Goo -goo. Been, it's been at least three Goo -goo. weeks. It's not like I just listed it. Yeah, it's been a while. So, Victoria, yes. Goo -goo. <laughs> just go and Goo -goo. I think he's still on vacation. He's still Goo -goo something on a beach. Goo -goo. <laughs> Goo -goo. Goo -goo. Goo -goo. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Okay, Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Um. Cuckoo. How about this? Does that look nice? I decided to put it in a window here. 
because that way it displays pretty nice and obviously not at night but still during the day people can see it what it is pretty cool piece and i know you guys gave me a hard time from video a couple days ago that i said that this is not original uh gamecube controller and it's a gamestop controller and we are asking there is a price 15 dollars, and i think i said in a video that we are asking fifty dollars which would be insane obviously who who wants to pay for a gamestop controller uh, that it's not even real gamecube controller fifty dollars so obviously that's a mistake but there's probably a million comments about it are you nuts no i'm not nuts i just awarded wrong anyway i we also sold i gotta put out uh more stuff out here because i had the technics 1200 turntables laid out here and up here and they're all sold i sold two yesterday and i sold two 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 today so this was a really nice flip i bought them from ronnie for uh, 500 bucks for all four of them and um the two single ones in the cases that were here sold those for 750 and then the one in a long case that was here with the dj mixer in between and the dust covers two dust covers that one i got 850 out of it so this was a very very nice flip so good uh good stuff i'm still testing all this stuff from ronnie more dj equipment so far not so good a lot of this stuff is bad looks like this guy who was a dj would if something would break he would just store it and never fix it like the next thing i'm fixing uh checking right now is this new mark um mixing boards with with uh cd players at the bottom uh, i got a feeling this is not going to be working there's already some damage in the screens here so i'll see i'll see if this even powers on they uh they prefer the older stuff because it's really big difference how they're built you know well this has a metal casing exactly the newer ones are all plastic exactly so yeah so it puts a little bit more weight on a project as you're working these are all brand new bids on it i mean this is the first time i i struck that bit you know yeah. so bulldog but for 20 bucks should be uh should be hundred dollar bill here. right vicky what right yes. just say yes Absolutely. Just bought this uh, monster here. Never had such a big uh, steel 16 inch concrete saw. Just the blade alone on this is like 150 bucks. So they're up there. Uh, paid 325 for it. Hopefully we can get like six, seven hundred dollars out of it. Not many guys are looking for a TS 800 at the end of the season, almost winter, but it will sell really good in the spring. I love that styrofoam. <laughs> Well, that's from this receiver that I'm testing. That's from Ronnie. Oh, uh, nice. Looks in a decent shape. Although, look, it's Ooh, a little yeah, it's like a little somebody screw on this somebody side. removed some screws out of it. Yeah. And back in the day, Vega was top of the line stuff, and this one is in really nice condition overall. And probably weights with that magnet like 30 pounds. V124 made in USA. Carwin Vega, the good stuff. How much are they going for? What are you saying? 100 bucks? Eight, 80 bucks new, but then like here's an old, it's not exact same, but it's an old vintage one for 120. So yeah. I'm thinking we're going to get probably 80 plus shipping. Awesome. Is what I'm going to try for. Yeah, okay. That's also from Ronnie, but it came with a box that it says MTX audio which is compared to uh, Vega, this is crap. What you doing, little devil? What you doing, little devil? Huh? Huh? You've been pretty calm today. You've been pretty calm. Yeah, where's your toy? Where's your toy? Yeah? Here's your toy. Here it is. Here it is. You got it. That'd be so quick. Give it back. <laughs> Many of you asked me about this statue if I would ship it. 
Uh, unfortunately, this is completely made out of concrete. It is about 70 pounds. I think it would be way too fragile to ship this. Uh, I think it, this this is gonna get damaged and broken in pieces when we when we ship it out. Uh, I believe it probably has metal bars in it, but it is concrete. So, so if anybody's interested, we're asking 400 bucks, but it would have to be local pickup, right, Adrian? We don't want to pick. We don't want to show. Many well, people already ask. Well, actually, if someone want to arrange freight for that weekend. Right, but weekend. like us sticking this in a box no. and. Doing just ground, too risky. Yep. Absolutely too risky. So you gave up on a posting from uh, that eBay removed? Can't find we it. can't find it. It'll turn out. But eBay, there's got to be a better system. If you remove the listing, I need to find it. <laughs> yeah, what if it belonged to somebody else? And what if it, this is on a consignment, they show up and I need to give it back to him? I don't have months to go through this. Yeah, I don't know. Why do they do that? You know, they tell you what it is, right? But it's just like, if you have a couple thousand items, it's almost impossible for us to find it now. It looks like we gotta dig in every bin. Yeah, I guess. And you know, it's fine when you list something a week ago and you kind of remember, but when you list something half a year ago, you don't remember where you no. put it. What was it? It's a statue. It's a it was a statue like this statue. guy. Just yeah. similar to this, right? Yeah, well, no, it's nicer, it's on a little marble. What is it, is that Hitler? No, that's not no, Hitler. That's, who is that one? Charles, Charles de, Charles de Gaulle, yeah. But it's got but a it was this, it. this size, roughly. Skinnier. Skinnier? It, yeah. And it's made out of bronze like, or something? Yeah, a little bronze metal. This is chipped, so I don't think it's not worth anything. Right. We made our money back because we got that one figurine, and I wrapped it extra special, and it got there. We got a good feedback already, so. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Why, why did I did, why did I said that this was not, because it maybe something in a warning? Because it's a, because of who it is, it's, it's a Nazi guy. It's a, it's a war. Who was it? Who was it? Do you remember? Is it Rommel? Is that who it is? I don't know. That's this guy. <laughs> Vintage Irwin Rommel Bronze Bus Desert Fox. Okay. It's and that's actually our posting, right? Yes. But okay. if I click on it, it goes nowhere. So too bad I can't see more. I but click on it. Okay. What happens? Um, well. I try, it's just gone. Yeah, okay. So. Oh, a month ago? It's probably a month ago. And you don't remember? I thought I had any one of the blue bins. And it's not there. No, I didn't find it. That sucks. Sorry. eBay, fix the problem. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Till next time. <laughs> Cheers.